Hey there! In this video we are going to show you how to enhance your product renders by creating some cool camera animations using Light Tracer Render. When we talk about camera animations, we mean you get to play around with camera movements, rotations and even less with lens parameters like focus distance and f number to pull off some seriously nice bokeh effects. We will show you the ropes using a nice watch CAD model courtesy of Francisco Correa. Ready to jump in? Let's do this! Light Tracer has three basic camera animation modes you can try out. The first and the simplest one is a turntable animation. In this mode, the camera spins around a specific point in the scene. Switch it on in the animation tab and check out how your camera animation looks. By default, the camera spins around the center of the scene. You can mix things up and make it spin around a particular object or any point in the scene you like. You can even control how much of a spin it takes in degrees. Next up, we have a cool trajectory called the swing animation. This one is a good fit for jewelry visualization. With this mode, the camera swings back and forth, tracing a figure 8 pattern both up and down and side to side. For both the turntable and swing paths, you can tweak the camera's speed at the start or end of its journey, using the easing settings. It's a great way to get the camera accelerating or have it ease into a stop. If the preset paths aren't cutting it for your project, no worries, you can build a custom path for the camera to follow. This comes in super handy for walkthroughs, dolly, translation, zoom and depth of field animation. So, let's create a trajectory with translation, dolly and depth of field. To put together the path, you've got to add some control viewpoints. Set up the camera just how you want it and hit the plus button or use the V hotkey. You'll see the captured view pop up in the keyframes list. Now, as we captured all views, it's time to fine-tune our trajectory. For every view, you can set the time needed for camera to fly from the previous one. Want to snap instantly between the paths of the path? Just set the time to zero for that view. This way we'll be able to split the dolly animation from the initial translation part. Keep in mind, your camera's path will show up in the viewport. But don't see it, it won't show up in your final video. It's just there to make building your camera path a bit easier. Also, we have set up easing for the last path segment to slow down the camera in the end. Now let's wrap up our video with a depth of field animation. For this, we'll copy the last view and fix the focus distance to bring another part of our watch model into the spotlight. As the camera moves between these control views, the focus distance will smoothly transition from one value to another. Alright, now we are ready to render our full animation into a final video. Lightrace has got your back. It supports output to MP4 video files and can also save individual frames as PNG or JPEG images. That way you can stitch the video together using your favorite third-party video editor. Besides camera parameters, new slots can also store visibility states for scene objects. This means you can show or hide different things as your animation plays out, making your everyday tasks a bit more automatic. Want to learn more about these automation capabilities? Just take a look at our past video. We'd love to hear what you think about camera animation and how we can level it up in future versions. Thanks for watching and see you in next videos.